Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 21. So I'm currently sat at my sewing social group uh, just before everybody arrives. I've come to set up a little bit early this morning because Simon's taken the day off. So he's going out to get the cheeses and uh, the beers and things like that. So he took the boys to school for me this morning. So I thought I'd come in, get set up early. I'll do my advent calendars whilst I'm here with you alone at the moment. And then I will share with you what I'm getting on with today. So thank you, first of all, for all your lovely comments from my video yesterday when I went to see my nan. Um, I re truly appreciate all your support and all your lovely comments, so thank you so much for that. Yeah, it was a very hard day, but I am very glad that I, I did it. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's that really. But um, <clears throat> I just wanted to say a huge thank you. So I'm gonna share with you what I am sewing today. So I brought the pillows with me the ones with the pesky backs. So thank you very much again for all of your lovely comments and suggestions for what I can do. So I actually bit the bullet and bought some prim snaps in this colorway. So I could try these on the back of the pillows. Um, I got them from Amazon, next day delivery. I had a few other bits to order, so I ordered them at the same time. So that was really good that they could come next day. And obviously they are the colors as per the pillows. So I'm gonna give that a go. Um, and I'm probably gonna put three or four snaps across just to make sure that it actually does stay closed. And when I use my Vario pliers, with these, it does secure them really, really well. So there isn't any um, sort of worry of them popping open because they are really securely uh, sort of snapped shut tight, if that makes sense, because I've had these on um, the boys' shirts in the past and things like that, and you know, they've been tugging around on it and they're quite hard to undo. So I'm hoping that that's gonna work because I don't really want to take the pillows apart to add Velcro or any other fabric as per your suggestions, but I truly appreciate those suggestions. So thank you so much, but I am gonna go with trying these out. So we shall see how that goes this morning. So that's that. Then I've brought in with me my Christmas day dress. So it's on the back of the chair here. So this is the triple tuck smock dress that I'm going to be making. And I've got the pattern here, so I can actually show you the front cover of it. It's got these lovely um, sort of tuck details at the top there, and then it goes out into a nice A-line shape and it's got raglan sleeves. So I've done the front bodice already. So it should be a fairly quick make. So I'm looking forward to getting that done. And I've just worn my dungarees today, so it's easy to take off and try on the dress whilst I'm here. Um, so I'm gonna crack on with that first because I'd like to get that done. Then I'll do the snaps on the back of the pillows. And then I have finished a jar of jam at home. So I've brought the, um, the lid with me if I get round to it and have time to make another pin cushion. Um, and I've also brought with me um, my wooden ring to make myself um, a pin cushion. I've put a bit of cardboard on the bottom of that and glue gunned the, uh, I was gonna say battery, it's not a battery, is it? It's the uh, magnet in it, so that's ready to go. So I'll glue, I've brought my glue gun with me as well, so I can glue a magnet in the back of there, and that's the, the really strong, really strong um, magnets. So yeah, that is what I'm planning to do today. So I'm looking forward to having my last sewing session um, with my ladies. I think there's about five or six of us today, so it's quite good for the last one, really. So I'm gonna get on with opening my advents then. So I'm gonna start with Angela's from Devon Thread Tales, and today it is day 16 out of hers. So it's this one here nice little round one and I'm gonna guess that this is a lip balm just purely for the shape of it um, and then I've decided that I'm not going to open a present from Angela tomorrow because I want to open one on Christmas Eve because I think I've only got two left so I obviously want to open one on Saturday and Sunday so I'm not going to open one tomorrow from Angela so let's have a look what she's got me ah yes it's a lip balm Oh, a lip butter, rather. It's a lip butter and it's coconut for dry lips, intensely nourishing. So that's it then. It's from the body shop. So that's great. Thank you so much. I love that. I do love a lip balm. In fact, I'm going to put some on now uh, because my lips are quite dry. I do put some on. Um, mm, that's lovely. Every morning um, when, I, when I do my makeup and stuff because um, I do get chapped lips during the winter and also during the summer. The sun dries them out as well, doesn't it? So right, beyond the pink door. So it's a ooh, rattly one and it's in a square kind of box. So I don't really have any guesses as to what that is at all. And one lady did comment to say that she's also at the hexagon chocolate all in one go as well. So I don't feel so bad now. Ooh, this is interesting. So it's just in a brain box or cream box rather. <gasps> oh, wow. That is gorgeous. It's a coaster, a ceramic coaster, and it says, you are capable of amazing things. That is really lovely. 
And I love that because that is very much like free motion machine embroidery style. Right up my street. I've got a really dry throat. I'm going to have to get myself a coffee in a minute. Oh, that's lovely. So it says wobbly round coaster. Amazing things. East of India designed in Britain. Oh, that's so nice. I love that. Thank you so much. And thank you, Angela, for my lip balm. Mm, I'll be putting that on <laughs> for the rest of the day. Well, I better put that coaster. Actually, I'm going to put it on here today so I can put my coffee on it. How nice. So thank you so much, ladies. Um, so that's it for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know how much more filming I'm actually going to get done today because when I get back home, um, Simon will be at home. And also, um, I've got to sort of fly around the house getting a a little bit more cleaning done you know hey ho oh, it's the cleaning always the cleaning um, and also a bit of wrapping as well so I did some wrapping last night I did start it and I need to do a little bit more and I've told Simon he needs to get the other presents down that are up at the top of the uh, cupboard that I can't reach um, so I can wrap the rest because I like I say I don't really want to be doing it last minute on Christmas Eve so we now have Simon's mum and dad and his brother coming to us this Saturday because his brother is actually going back to work in Norway on Boxing Day so we're having um, a slightly earlier day with them um, and then we've got my mum and dad coming to us on Christmas Day so yeah I've got to prep what I'm going to be doing on Saturday with regards to food and things so I have an idea in mind so yeah I'm gonna go with that anyway I shall love you leave you for now and I shall catch you a little bit later on if I can if not I shall say goodbye and I shall see you tomorrow bye right, I'm just back from my sewing social and I thought I would share with you what I managed to get done so I didn't get the pin cushions done there was absolutely no time the time just flew by today but I am pleased to say that my pillows are all done and the snaps worked out perfectly as you can see I've put four across in that blue colorway and that's keeping that shut nicely and it's keeping the overlap much better as well so that's worked really well so that's the really plump cushion as well so i'm really glad that that has worked so that one's going to be for thomas um and then this is james's one so again i've just put four snaps across the back on that one in the blue colorway and again this was a less poofy pillow anyway so that's worked absolutely fab and then the one for Harry, which was again a less poofy pillow. But on this one, I've put lighter coloured blue snaps just to go a little bit better with this colourway of fabric. And for some reason, I did the overlap of the pillow different on this one. Just the way I did it, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm just really pleased with how that has closed it up. So again, thank you very much for all of your suggestions with regards to ties and Velcro and fabric strips and all sorts of bits and bobs. It was really useful. But yeah, I just decided to go with the snaps because I thought it was quick and easy. And I was glad that I was able to get these off Amazon and get them delivered pretty quickly so I could get those done. So they are now ready to be wrapped up. Thank goodness. I also managed to get my Christmas day dress done, which is the So Different Triple Tuck Smock Dress. So here we are. Da -da! <laughs> um, and I'm really pleased with how that has turned out. I will insert a photo of me wearing it before the sleeves were hemmed and before the uh, bottom of the dress was hemmed as well as, as you could probably see it's got clips at the bottom there just so we could gauge roughly where I needed to hem it to so I think I've got it just above knee length and um, I made the size 12 and it, I used the one and a half centimeter seam allowance throughout which was absolutely fine um, but I do have quite a bit of excess fabric at my, around my back area again so um, I need to look into doing a sway back in the future if I go ahead and make this pattern or even to add some fisheye darts in the back that might work quite well but what I'm going to do is actually try this dress on again now that I've hemmed the sleeves and hemmed the bottom of the dress itself and I'm going to put it on inside out and I may just take it in a little bit down the side seams near my waist area which is where I'm a lot smaller than my hips um, and that might bring in the back just a little bit because I did find that I had to do that with my so different long line jacket I had quite a lot of excess at the back of my back and um, I took it in down the side seams and that did bring it in so it was a lot closer to my back so I think I'm going to try the same with this so hopefully that will work okay um but yeah i'm really pleased with the dress overall i'm going to uh, sew a label into the back just so that anchors that um facing down i've sewn the rest of it so it's anchored down in place so it shouldn't pop out and i have understitched around the neckline as well but yeah really pleased with the fabric so thank you to liz for <laughs> being my savior and going to get the fabric for me from the fabric boutique so that enabled me to get that dress sewn up and I shall happily wear that on Christmas day so that has got a lot of room in it so it'd be great for wearing 
you know when when i've had all the uh <laughs> all the festive food and that kind of thing so yeah and it's gonna be nice it's a nice one that you can layer up it is actually designed for layering so i'm gonna try it on with the top underneath um i've got this one and um some i think i've got some other plain ones i think um but it'd be nice to wear with with tights and boots as well um and in the summer you could wear that just as it is with just bare legs and trainers or sandals or something so yeah really really pleased with that so i'm glad i got it done i'm glad i got the pillows done and now i'm just about to have some lunch i'm going to hopefully fit in a little bit of christmas wrapping before i have to go and pick the boys up from school i've just phoned simon and he has just managed to stop for a little bit of lunch um he's picked up all the cheeses and the drinks and things and he's picked up some pork pies and stuff like that so the only thing that we've got really left to get is just what we're going to be eating on christmas eve and we usually have frankfurters with mustard and some nice bread um, but he cannot find french mustard for the life of him anywhere so i'm going to have a look in co-op later before i go and pick the boys up from school um but if not then we'll just have to do without and we'll have dijon mustard or something like that with it um but yeah that's that's what we usually have as our sort of christmas eve eve uh dinner so anyway i'm gonna leave it here for today so i can crack on with the wrapping and um i shall catch up with you again tomorrow hopefully so, see you then bye